I was born on the 4th of July, 1776, and the Declaration of Independence is my birth certificate. The bloodlines of the world run in my veins because I offered freedom to the oppressed. I am many things and many people. I am the nation. I am over 330 million souls and the ghosts of millions who have lived and died for me. I am Nathan Hale and Paul Revere. I stood at Lexington and fired the shot heard around the world. I am Washington, Jefferson, and Patrick Henry. I am Independence Hall, the Monitor, and the Merrimack. I am Lee, Grant, and Abraham Lincoln. I remember the Alamo, the Maine, and Pearl Harbor. I am John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King. When friends called, I answered and stayed until it was over, over there. I left heroic dead on Flanders Field, on the rocks of Corregidor, on the bloody hills of Korea, in the steaming jungles of Vietnam, and the shifting sands of the Persian Gulf. I was held hostage in Iran, and yes, I was attacked by cowardly terrorists. I'm the wheat fields of Nebraska and the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm the coal fields of Virginia's and Pennsylvania. I'm the Golden Gate and the Grand Canyon. I am forest, field, mountain, and desert. I am the quiet villages and the cities that never sleep. I am the ballot dropped in the box, the roar of the crowds, and the voices of a choir in a cathedral. You see the light of Christmas in me and hear the strains of old Lang Syne as the calendar turns. Yes, I am the nation, and these are the things I am. I was conceived in liberty, and God willing, in freedom, I will spend the rest of my days. May I possess always the integrity, the courage, and the strength to keep myself unshackled, to remain a citadel of freedom and a beacon of strength for the rest of the world. This is my wish, my goal, and my prayer. I am America the Beautiful.